Welcome back to Hope Scope. Hi, Tim. And welcome to quite possibly the biggest Lululemon haul I've ever done. <laughs> Do you guys like my new shelf? I need to like reorganize all this, but we've got the in-store haul and the online haul. This last Black Friday that Lululemon did was probably their most impressive sale that I've seen them do. And then Lululemon's had some crazy special edition holiday stuff that I wanted to try out. Thanks for Lululemon for partnering with me and helping me out on this video today. They gave me some shopping credit to check out some of their new stuff, but don't you worry, I still spent over a thousand dollars of my own money. That's the real reason brands like working with me, I think. They know that I'm just gonna go spend obscene amounts of money on their stuff, regardless. By the way, everything I talk about in today's video is gonna be linked down below. Okay, this first trend thing is something that I've been seeing across all activewear, and it's become a bit of a problem for me. Let me just give you a visual. Brown. Like this, all of this, has pretty much happened in the space of, mm, a couple months. <laughs> Which is so bizarre to me because before this year, I think I've owned a grand total of one brown item. It was in high school. I wore it every week. I made sure to wear it in my senior pictures. I'm pretty sure it was from like Vanity or... What's the other one of those like mall brand? Maurice's. Literally haven't owned anything brown since until now. But honestly, this earth brown from Lululemon is probably like the truest brown out of all of these. I'm just gonna go get a lint roller because this thing's covered in fuzzies from my blanket. And then I'm pretty sure I have sushi burrito all over these leggings. Sure do, that's really gross. <laughs> okay, listen. I need to make a public apology to whoever the person was that either texted me or DM'd me. I can't remember, but they asked me after I posted this Instagram story, what size did I get in this perfectly oversized crew? And I said a six. This is not a six. I don't know why I thought it was. Like, to be honest, if you want anything oversized in Lululemon, including the oversized stuff, it's just better to size up a couple sizes anyway. <laughs> so this is actually a 10 and I love it. I love the way it fits. When it comes to like performance, more form-fitting tops. I do like a six, but this in the 10 is just out of this world. I like, it's the perfect length that it kind of covers everything, you know? I've literally been living in this for days. I pulled it out of the dirty clothes just for you. They have a bunch of stuff that comes in this earth brown, but these are the full length Align leggings. Love me the full length. 28 inch ones. These are more of like a loungy, really light workout type legging. Why am I talking to you like you don't know what an Align legging from Lululemon is? Next. Ooh, I lied, we're not moving on yet. I got more brown. <laughs> How could I forget this? This is a little special edition moment. More Aligns, Align tank, gold, and the Align legging, gold. This is actually a darker brown than the earth brown that I just showed you. Okay, honestly, when I ordered this online, for some reason I was fully expecting for the little gold detail on here to be like like staples <laughs> like, doesn't it kind of look like like staples okay these are line tops i'm wearing a six and um, it's more boobalicious than say somebody with a smaller chest i think i'm I think i'm a 34c i don't i haven't measured in a real long time to be honest <laughs> okay so that says 32 is that the measurement you're supposed to use for the band size or is it this oh, i feel so bad now for all the times that i've turned on the cute victoria's secret girls that are trying to help me find my bra size and i'm like i know already i don't i don't apparently 36 so this isn't isn't it uh every inch is a so like a b c d am i a d there's a calculator oh there's no way. There's no way I'm a 32D. You can thank the 2020 stress weight for that one. Anyway, what was I even? Oh yeah, the Align Tops are my favorite. They have like the little built-in shelf and removable cup pads. They're really great for any like weight training or yoga. I probably wouldn't wear it to like a spin class or anything, but honestly like phenomenal for just casual wear too. The fabric's just really soft. It doesn't dig in anywhere. And then these are pretty similar to the last brown Aligns I tried on just with the gold. And these are actually the 25 inch. I love that that's becoming a thing. Like not just expanding the size range, but also the length range. I got it in a uh, black too. I Zero regrets about it, honestly. Okay, before I get into like the grand finale of the new holiday collection, I wanna show you what I got from Black Friday. Uh, I actually had to take a sushi and a bachelorette break. Gather around, get cozy. We have a little bit of a chat. Are you checking yourself? How does your hair look? Uh, how does it look? I don't know. <laughs> but we are back after I just like digest for a minute. Fashion show, here we go. Ooh, should we like set a mood light? Wrong mood. Much better, okay. 
I just had an epiphany. I'm not supposed to be buying the sports bras that are light support for a BC cup anymore. So this is actually a size eight. You can tell the little straps are just sh sh struggling. So this is the Flow Y long line. So this was regularly 58 and I got it for 39. I don't know what this print is called, but it's fun. It's like not a thing that I would normally buy from Lululemon full price. So these are in a line legging in a size six. They don't feel like regular of lines. They're just called the line high rise 28 inch though. Like it is in a line, it's just not brushed. And these were $118 regularly. So 20 bucks more than the lines usually are, but I got it for 69. So that's the first outfit I got but there's more where this came from. We've got the Stash It All bra. This one is actually made for CD cups. I think I'm wearing it right with, has this like piece in the front. Kind of cool, kind of different. The adjustable clasp back, also $39. Regularly 68. I don't know why it's called Stash It All. Keeping necessities close to you as you power through. Designed with an integrated front pocket. <gasps> what? Okay, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> But like if you were running a different layout for sure, but okay, these leggings. I remember when they came out with these earlier this year with this like acid wash effect. I think I even posted it on my Instagram story and polled you guys about if I should get them or not. And it wasn't an overwhelmingly enough yes. So these are fast and free, 25 inch. Oh, they're a size eight. So that makes sense. I was thinking like, they feel really slippery. They probably would have fit a little bit better in a size six, but they do have the drawstring. So these were regularly 138 and I got them for 109. I guess that's only a $30 discount, huh? But it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay, I was genuinely shocked to see these on sale. They're the 10 inch Align shorts. Got these in a size six. They're regularly 58, but I got these for 39. They actually had like several colors of these on sale too. I was really surprised. I guess it kind of makes sense now that we're going into winter. So my favorite joggers that Lululemon has done are the on the fly, but I think these honestly might be even better. The keep moving seven eighths pant, luxe stream fabric, nice and high rise, very stretchy. These are like my favorite types of pants for like travel or just like when you want something loungy but slightly dressier. These were a good deal regularly, 118, got them for 69. And then we have these adorables. So I'm literally half off. This is the time to restore mock. <gasps> This is adorable. I'm surprised this was on sale. From $58 to $29, this is a size six. That hole's a little hard to get in and out of, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's cute though. And I really like this color. It's like a mustardy. This was a good haul. Well, you got something for me? I got something for you. All right, I didn't know if you would like this color or not. It's a... Please. <laughs> I can't, no. Leggings, oh my god. I can say I do not have anything like this in my collection. Yeah, that co the leggings look great. You look great, it's just. <laughs> so when I was selling, they said brown's like the worst color to ever wear. Like Probably do the not. Most popular color car too. Oh, and brown cars like would sit forever. Cars, yeah. yeah, we call them hang around brown because they just hang out on the lot forever and never oh, leave. No. <laughs> it's supposed to be copper, I think. Copper? Yeah, they were almost a hit. Um, the real reason that Tyler wanted to do this was because he just secretly wanted to show you the stuff that he got. Well, you are the best color brown. They redid the socks. I'm gonna show you the old ones okay. first. Okay, so passionate about the socks. These are the first ones, and these have lasted the longest by far. They're not as stretchy as most of the other socks. Um, this was called the Surge Tab Sock, I think, like that. So it literally has no padding, but it has the silver stuff woven in between it, so like it's very, very good for working out. Wait, why are you such a more invested co-host than he wants Tyler? to eat Oh, that's right, because <laughs> you're holding socks. The next generation, I call it generation too. And this time there's like a little compression thing, padding, silver in this one also. This one's definitely more comfortable. These ones are lasting a lot longer. Okay, and here is the new sock. Buddy, no. <laughs> okay, first impression, much more lightweight. It, the padding is in between thickness of the first and second version. I have a feeling these ones are not gonna last as long as the first one. See, hey, 
What are you doing? Oh, ridges in a sock. That's fancy. You guys, this, this is probably the most comfortable shirt I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Vents. The vents. The vents. <laughs> so you got like reverse vents up here and then like double the vents down here. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The Velvet. This has been one of the most polarizing collections I have seen in Lululemon history. We have the people that think it's so unique and so flattering, and then we have the people that just want to cancel it immediately. Oh my goodness. This is another line top like we've been talking about all day. <laughs> I just noticed it says for AB cup. What the heck, line tanks are only supposed to be for AB cups? Well, I feel like I didn't notice in those last ones, but in this one, they do look a little more squished. Yeah, they're like, definitely a little squished. It's not like the best fit, but I think it's fun. The inside isn't velvety. It's just this like stretchy, regular material. Something about these aligns feels comfier than normal, like plushier, thicker than normal. And they just have the cute little velvet that goes all the way to the bottom. I like these. I don't know about the full velvety ones, but I really like the ones with just the little strip. I think that's very fun. Very festive, all aligned mock neck long sleeve. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so comfy. Wow, I like this a lot. Like the inside, it's actually a lot more lightweight and breathable than you would think too. And it is the crushed velvet, so it doesn't all like go one way smoothly. It kind of has like a rough effect to it. Is someone gonna wear that to the gym? Are you gonna wear it to the gym? Um, line leggings? Okay, yeah, those well, are like 90. Those are more lounge leggings. Are you doing more lounging than you are working out? Well, I mean, I think we all do more lounging. Okay. Um, I actually. personally don't. I do a lot more working out. After oh. this, I have my 8 p.m. hit class, but you know, I mean, to each his own. <laughs> more of a lounge legging. Oh. <laughs> well, I think this video is over now. Oh, um, I got a, a six in both of the tops and six of the leggings. Thank you so much for joining us today. We picked out some other videos right here and right here that we think you might like to watch next. And Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.